No messing about, guys. We're getting straight into this one. Yassine Adli, you little harky mug. This guy said it's his dream to play for France. His dream to play at the Euros. His dream to play for Didier Deschamps at Euro 2024. You little mug. Go and play with all your baguettes down the boulangerie, mate, because you didn't want any merguez, did you? Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Does this guy actually think he's serious? He's so deluded. Look at the players in the French central midfield ahead of him. Like, it reminds me of that Mourinho thing when he goes, Otamendi, Kevin De Bruyne, Fernandinho, bloody Camavinga, Chouameni, Fofana, Genduzi, Camara, Zaire Emery. This is football heritage. What are you doing? You're literally playing with Ismail Benassa every week. That could have been our midfield, you little twat. What are you doing playing for France? And why didn't you do it already? If you were that keen on getting that French call up, you were a bench warmer, a bench warmer for two years. You went to the Milan fashion show because you couldn't kick a ball. Now you want to play and think you're the next Pogba. That's disgraceful. This guy was going to be a big part of Algeria's rebuild. He'd worked with Petkovic at Bordeaux. Petkovic was actually asked about him in his press conference. And now he's killed any chance. Even if this guy wanted to play for Algeria one day, they wouldn't take him after that. I mean, things can be said behind closed doors. Yes, this guy in a press conference literally got asked, France or Algeria? And he said, my dream to play for France. What a muppet. It's the fact he's nowhere near it. He's nowhere near it. The only reason they'll call him is to make him play three games and then he can't switch. That's all they'll do. This is a carbon photocopy of the Nabil Fakir situation a few years ago. And I actually do think something's gone on here because the Algerian media, particularly in the last couple of weeks, were very adamant that Adli was talking to the FAF and that he would play for Algeria. There was even a family member that had allegedly said he was going to play for Algeria. Suddenly, it's his dream to play for France. Now, I actually think Adli was going to play for Algeria. I think Deschamps got in his ear. The same thing happened when Gourcouf managed Algeria and Fakir agreed to play for Algeria. And in a three-hour phone call, it was overturned by Deschamps. Something similar has happened here. He, I think he's changed his mind. Now, it's still 100% Adli's fault. No one forced him. But clearly, he's, he's had his head turned. His head's been turned, probably by the, the, the Triple F, the French FAF. He clearly feels like they've got something to offer him. But realistically, with Camavinga, Trumeni and Zaya Emery and, and all the others behind, is Adley gonna be in that? Is Adley gonna really play regularly for AC Milan? I just think the guy's an idiot. Like, he's not knocking on the door of the French team. He's obviously, this guy wants to probably play Olympics in Paris, maybe with the under 23 side with Thierry Henry, maybe play that with Mbappe, but he's an idiot. And you think of all the progress we made, we switched our, we got players like Ait Nori, Amin Guiri. This idiot, right, wants to eat croque monsieurs. What are you doing? It just doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm also going to pass some blame to Belmadi, because Belmadi could have had this guy when he wasn't kicking a ball, when no one was interested in him. Belmadi didn't want him because he wasn't playing, right? This guy is obsessed. Jamal is obsessed, or was obsessed, with Zaruki. Every opportunity... Zaruki had to play in the middle. Every given opportunity, Zaruki played. So, Adley never got a chance. And we know Belmadi had his favourites. He preferred the smaller groups. Always going to be the usual suspects. So, even now, the Mauritania game was the only time he gave Awar a real go, Budawi a real go. And it came to that. So, clearly, we could have got Ad Adley before. We didn't. And now he wants to play for France. Whether or not it was his original choice, it doesn't matter. He said that. They've obviously spoken to him from the French FA side and, and turned his head. So, overall, it's been a diabolical mess. And now we look ahead to Petkovic's first squad. What realistically are we going to see in terms of new players? Well, I don't need to lecture about Bellaly again. I've, I've said my piece on Bellaly for years. Four game ban, shocking. Um, he won't be here. Mares probably, of course, will be there. Still the captain, seemingly. You can have people like Slimani. But in terms of the new faces, I think. Uh, Rafik Gitain from Estoril in Portugal. There are some players we need to start bedding in. I really like Abdelli, who plays um, in France, I think, for Andre. I think Abdelli's really good. I think Kadri is really, really good, the one that plays in Belgium. These are the, the types of central midfielders we need to start embedding into the squad. If Adli's not interested, mate, or if son, 
You know what I mean? Salam to Kadri, salam to Abdelli. Get these guys in, and then closer to tournaments, you start big boy conversations, you start Ryan Shirky conversations, you start Michael Elise conversations. I just think these Olympics being in Paris, where it's the French youth team, not the main French team, and you can still switch afterwards, is going to sway a lot of these players' heads to try and play in that tournament at home in Paris under Thierry Omri. But ultimately, it's a big blow to Algeria's midfield to miss out on Yassine Adli. Benasser Adli is going to be painful to watch in, in the San Siro, I tell you. But if you can stick Benasser in there, Awara Shaibi is, is the further one. We're missing the one next to him. Are Ben Talib and Zeruki cut out to be that guy? Clearly not from what we've seen. But this squad needs bolstering. So I'm sure you'll see maybe um, Belumi come back, maybe uh, Monsef Bakra, the guy that plays in New York. There'll be some, some new faces, maybe a few local defenders to try and get some some tougher defensive players at the back. But ultimately, this is a big blow and it's not the start that uh, the FAF president, Walid Saadi, would have wanted. It's not the start that Petkovic would have wanted. But it also makes you appreciate the players that did decide to play for Algeria that could have easily played and been good enough to play for, for other nations. You know, I'm sure Zarouki would have been in Holland squads. I'm sure Banassa would have been in France squads. Awa was in a France squad. They're good players, but they came to play for Algeria. So you commend them for their switch. But ultimately, Adley, I'm disappointed in you, son. So let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you next time.